We continue to look ahead to the college football season in 2024. Our stop today is Fault, Missouri. We get to visit with Julian Mendez, who is heading into his first season as the head coach for the William Woods Owls, and not only first season, the inaugural season for the football program. Coach, I know we visited a few months back, and and we were talking just a moment ago. It doesn't really seem like that long ago that that we were visiting, talking about you taking over the program as it's getting started. Give me an idea of the state of the program then for April 2024. Where are we in the process? Yeah, I mean, it really didn't seem like that too long ago that we, we were able to speak. And, you know, where we are today is is some, somewhere in, 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 in excitement. Um, you know, we're finishing up classes and, and finals today for our guys who are on campus. So we had 22 guys that, that came in this spring as transfers. Um, and so it, it's been it's been a blast to be able to go through a little bit of a tempered down spring ball. Um, and then just being on the recruiting trail, we're right at that around that 70, 71 total number with recruits and guys we have on campus right now. Um, and, you know, the the fun process is starting to see everything kind of develop. You know, we have Mammoth Construction, who's on campus right now, completing our, our turf field and, and stadium that we have going in, um, which has been a blast to see. You know, goalpost went up two days ago. And so that to me is that mark of, you know, I've known this, but for everybody else, is it's, it's real. You know, this first time ever goalposts have been on campus. Um, and so that's something that, you know, just shows what what's going on, um, you know, from a from an athletics as in football standpoint of bringing in all of our gears starting to show up. Um, you know, I'll, I'll have a little bit of um, some insight with our jerseys are, are starting to show up for for fall, which is awesome. You know, some of our guys got a little sneak peek yesterday um, at some of our jerseys. I'll hold out on some of that from for you, Joey. But, uh, okay, well, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's been cool. So we'll put out some of those pictures going into hopefully into June. Um, but it's been a blast. I mean, I, I'm having a lot of fun and it's it was fun this spring to get some coaching in um, with some of the guys with with, you know, in the fall, not truly coaching that aspect with guys on campus. So now this spring was was fun to just, you know, focus a lot on the process on how we were going to do things and, and how we were going to start the program from a culture standpoint, um, I think was, was, was a blast and to be able to have um, those guys on campus and, and know that they were the foundation of what we were planning on doing, um, you know, and, and being able to incorporate ourselves into not only a, a, a really strong athletics program here at William Woods, but then the community as well. You know, and by the way, I look forward to seeing those, uh, those, those jerseys and the uniforms and everything. I, that's that can be fun. It really is yeah. a, a part of the exciting thing. And like you said, it starts to feel more real at that point. Well, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just enjoying watching you on social media too. You know, on Twitter, <laughs> X, whatever it is, seeing that owl fly in. Yeah. And that, so I know something's happening in Fulton every time there I see you go. That owl fly in. You were talking about players on campus, transfers that were coming in, and of course recruits that will will be there soon. What what were spring practices like? And I I know as you mentioned, you know, fun getting to coach a little bit, but what what all were you able to do? So we we try to treat it a little bit more of the the OTA mentality of getting you know individual drills in, getting some things going into getting um, with some installs offensively and defensively, especially having our. Um, defense coordinator who's been with me since July, um, Coach Stephen Dudley, and then now bringing in Sam Camp as our offensive coordinator this spring was being able to let those guys kind of loose on, hey, this is now, as we talked about, you know, in the fall and everything we've started was being able to talk about the culture of the whole program. Now it's, you know, individually, you two are the head coaches, offense and defense of, of your respected side. It's now how do we institute what that is and who we're looking to be on each side of the ball, um, which was a lot of fun. And for me, it was a lot of fun because, you know, with having Sam Camp on campus as well as I don't have to think about truly calling a play or, or putting things together. It was, Hey, coach camp, let me know what you want me to do today at practice. Um, and so, which was, which was fun for me to be able to um, take myself out of some of that a little bit, but uh, still be able to go out and, and coach some guys. Um, we did, like I said, individual, a, a bunch of that, and then some seven on seven, um, keeping it really loose with just kind of having our guys be able to run around and, and understand what we're trying to do. Um, 
and and still get a lot out of it from the spring, which I was excited about being able to have those opportunities, especially um, having a practice field on campus right by where a lot of the construction was going on too. Um, <laughs> so it was, was fun to be able to see that in our backdrop of a practice was being able to see that construction going on and knowing, you know, what's coming. So uh, it was a lot of fun. Well, that's, and that's a real thing. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. it, it, it will stay in your mind and that, that, that'll make a difference for those mm -hmm. players. I know. And of course, for the coaching staff too, you mentioned yeah. camp, just recent announcement mm -hmm. uh, is higher there in the program. So congratulations on that end uh, from your perspective in to this point, then I, I talked about state of the program. Obviously, there are lots of challenges. I mean, we get to see the finished product on Saturdays, which is a lot of fun, but there's so much that goes into it. And of course, then with what you're doing with building this program from scratch, uh, what what might be a, the biggest challenge that you faced in all this? Uh, I think it's, you know, trying to at some points in the fall with the recruiting aspect of trying to make sure you got the point across that this was real. You know, I say that a lot of the times too, is, you know, this is a real ass, this is what we're doing real aspect of, of, of the program. And, and with a lot of other places in the country that may do things a little bit differently, and, and it may not be a good opportunity um, was showing that and proving that this is that opportunity for, for student athletes to utilize football to get a degree. And, and hopefully we're making an impact, you know, and, and a greater impact is happening, you know, off, off the field as well. And so um, I think that was a little bit of a challenge, you know, especially with, with not having anything on campus right away when I showed up in, in July, you know, when our first conversation had, I had one t-shirt, you know, that said owls on it. And so, you know, now that we start to have things, um, tangible things on campus so that when I bring a recruit into my office and I'm able to show a helmet, able to go through the process, they're able to drive by the field, those things start to become a little bit easier because they can see that that's happening instead of, you know, at sometimes taking a shot or taking a chance, you know, and I told, I had individual meetings with, with all of our guys who participated this spring. And, you know, a lot of it, I ended it with, I appreciate you taking a shot on us, you know, mm -hmm. And it was the exact reverse back to me is they're like, no, coach, I appreciate you taking a shot on me. And so <laughs> that's something that is, you know, that's the whole point of why, you know, I wanted to be a head coach and to be in the situation is to be able to provide that opportunity. But, you know, they're they're taking a shot to understand that this is being done the correct way, um, you know, and everything that's been done from our top to bottom is is very linear with with how we're doing things and making sure that it is about the student athlete experience, uh, you know, but putting us in a position that we want to compete. And um, I think that's kind of overall of what we're trying to do. So um, there's been some challenges within that, but, you know, it's it's all about those learning opportunities and and to be able to put us to where we are now. You know, I mean, to be able to sit in an office and understand that this is, you know, the football office and do those things is, is has been fun, you know, and being able to have, you know, and I hope one day I'll be able to show you guys a tour of what the office looks like. And I'll be able to say, you know, a lot of the work that was done in the office was done by some of our players, too which then brings a lot more of, yeah. So some of our guys worked worked with maintenance this this spring. And so so a lot of what's in this office is our guys were able to move and paint. So, you know, my they brought up that stuff too of our players in the program talked about, you know, they have some ownership and some of that aspect of what this was able to look like, um, which is all we're trying to do with how we're trying to do this and, and start the program in the correct way. By the way, the plan is to do a Midwest Sports Saturday from Fulton this fall. So that's, uh, that's what we're hoping for. And, and yeah. I, I, I look forward to getting to see some of that uh, up close and, and personal. Coach Julian Mendez here on Midwest Sports Net as we are looking ahead to the 2024 season. I, I'm sure that, you know, there's competition in every area. And are there certain positions where things seem to be, uh, you know, are there front runners already? You know, are, are there places where it's starting to shake out just a little bit and you look and you say, okay, we may be able to put this, this guy in here, this guy in here, and they're going to fit real well. Yeah. I think, I think with, you know, every program, no matter where you're at, you always talk about, Oh, well, I may not have that true depth chart because we want competition here. The benefit of how we've been trying to, you know, talk with recruits is, that's the fun part about this is you want an opportunity, you want to compete. This is the place to do it at because in reality, everybody's coming in with a clean slate. Um, yeah. And it's been fun. It, it it was extremely fun 
this spring to see some guys compete with with having a couple quarterbacks on campus, having wideouts on campus, having, you know, a couple backs who can do some different things, you know, from an offensive standpoint, but then seeing defensively some guys maybe adjusting from previous positions to to learn a new new opportunity for them that maybe is the best fit for them to step on the field. Right. Um, you know, and I, I talked to all those guys who walked in and, and had their individual meeting is, you know, we talk about there being open competition and those things happening. But at the end of the day, the guys that are here this spring, you have a leg up. You know, you're here. You're able to work with the coordinators this spring. You know, if you're staying this summer, you have that opportunity to still, you know, be around of what's going on and be able to kind of pick the brains of the coordinators and the coaching staff of what we're trying to do. And so you have to be able to utilize that. And so that's 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 the fun part. You know, it's a it's a long roundabout answer of I probably won't be answering on telling you who's here, but it's just the way that we're going to do things. <laughs> I, would, I would be remiss, Coach, if I didn't ask. So. Oh, for sure. You have to ask, and I'm always going to find a fun way to answer it and answer it in, in, a, in a fun opportunity. That's the, uh, that's the working for uh, uh, Kent Kessinger that'll get you going <laughs> to be able to talk to people. So, um but yeah, I mean, it was all this spring was a great opportunity to see those guys compete, you know, on the field and in the weight room and, and even with what we're doing just in meetings. So. All right. Well, one thing I know for sure is that in just a little bit more than four months, it'll be August 29th. And that is a Thursday night, week zero. You guys make the trip 200 miles north. I mean, it's just pretty much a straight shot on 63, right? Yep. Just, just uh, yeah, head just north. Leave, yep. leave Holden and, and make your way up to Oskaloosa, Iowa, which interestingly enough, we had a chance to visit with Coach Mark Benavidez yesterday, and uh, you all are taking on William Penn on that Thursday night, and then uh, another game, and your first home game, September 14th, as you all will host there in that new field, yes. uh, new stadium, uh, St. Ambrose, who yes. is another new program coming into the Hart Conference. You mm -hmm. all are the, are the two that are moving over. Hart Conference, by the way, uh, will be the largest football conference in NAIA in 2024 with 14 teams. Um, and let's see, you guys are in the South with Baker, Benedictine, Central Methodist, yep. uh, Mid-American Nazarene, Missouri mm -hmm. Baptist, Missouri Valley. So yes. I'll be playing the Heart South schedule a little bit mm -hmm. later on. But yeah, okay. So on the road, you get to go up to, to William Penn to get things started. That's a Thursday night. Yeah, and I mean, Coach Benavidez is – has does an amazing job and has has done great since getting up to to William Penn and really I think revamped what they're doing and continuing that um, that program and how they're doing things and I mean you you see him you talk about us from a social media standpoint um, Coach Benavides is always up in front about social media and, and does a great job on on what he's doing there I mean he did an amazing job at Avila and, and taking Avila over into the KCAC and doing great things from his whole time there. Um, you know, he's always someone that I, I, I looked up to, you know, within the coaching um, realms of him taking over at Avila and doing some things. And so now now transitioning over here, I don't think for me there's a better first game to be able to have, uh, you know, just that amount of respect that I have for Coach Benavides and how he does things. So it's going to be fun. You know, we, we were able to spend some time at, at a couple of recruiting events. Um, our staff and their staff and just kind of, you know, hang out and talk. And obviously with William Penn and William Woods, it's that opportunity where when we're at recruiting events, we're probably next to each other, you know, mm -hmm. alphabetically. And so we have that opportunity to kind of talk and, and do those things. Like I said, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to kind of get to that day and finally see, you know, what, what, what we're able to showcase and who we are, um, you know, and it'll be that first time ever to do that. And it's, uh, um, it's exciting time, you know, then then uh, technical week one, we go up and um, play another tough competition on the road and, and go back up to Iowa to play Grandview at Grandview, mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, always, always a tough place to play. I'm very excited that it's uh, in early September and not uh, not in November to where that cold could be getting us. So um, I'm excited about that. And just to be able to see, you know, Coach Woodley up there does an amazing job. And that's the fun part about being in the heart of America. I mean, it's every week, um, you know, in my opinion, there's it's a week to go play a, a great program and, and coaching staffs that do things the right way. Um, you know, we had a heart of America coaching staff meeting a couple of days ago. And it's, you know, I really respect everybody in that conference and, and how how it's approached and how business is taken care of from from all standpoints. And so it's a. It's going to be fun to play in that conference and to to really recruit in that conference as well. 
Well, we look forward to to seeing you all play. And again, uh, whether it's the St. Ambrose game or another one, uh, we're, we're looking forward to making the trip to Fulton and, and get to, to be a part of that this inaugural season. Coach, yes. it's always a privilege to get to visit with you, and I'm so thankful for your time today. And, and we look forward to following the Owls in their inaugural season. Coach mm-hmm. Julian Mendez here on the Summit with us as we're looking ahead to the 2024 fall season. Uh, William Woods. They're going to make some noise this year, and so I'm I'm looking forward to to getting to see that as well. Thank you so much for taking time with on, with us on the summit today, and God bless you. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. I know our, our tailgaters will will accept you right away into the tailgate, so we'll we'll have some fun and be able to kind of show you, hopefully, show you as as much fun off off the field as on the field. So I appreciate you having me as always. Um, go Owls and Talons up. <laughs>